Hi, everybody. Welcome to the chat with Children. I hope you're all safe and well today. I'm delighted to be joined by Laura Edrickson, eh? who is the Informal Markets Brand Manager for PharmaPak, which is running in January next year on the 24th and 25th in Paris, as always. And Laura and I actually did an interview at PharmaPak in Paris in February this year, and we caught up at CPHO in Barcelona in <laughs> October. So it's lovely to see you, Laura. How are you? Hi, thank you very much for uh, having me here. I'm I'm really excited uh, to have chat with you again and it was great to see you in PharmaPAC 2023 <laughs> and of course uh, in CPHI and now having a chat with you here. Fantastic. Um, yeah. Cool. Well, now, PharmaPAC is fast approaching, I know. It's only a few weeks away, actually. It's quite scary, I think. Uh, but before we talk about the 2024 event, for viewers who are not familiar with PharmaPak as a brand, uh, where does PharmaPak sit within the sort of CPHI informal markets portfolio? Who's its target audience, both in terms of visitors, but also exhibitors as well? Mm -hmm. So uh, PharmaPak uh, exhibition uh, is all about innovation, knowledge sharing, um, great content. And it's within the pharmaceutical packaging and drug delivery device industry. It's the event, uh, two days event, very focused uh, for buyers and sellers coming together, networking, and of course, doing business. Right. And in terms of visitors, who are the type of visitors that you aim to attract to the event? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, for the visitor side, of course, those are the big buyers from the big pharma companies looking at the packaging uh, materials for their uh, needs. Uh, so these are our main uh, target audience. And from, of course, uh, looking from the exhibitor side, we are very proud to have Aptar, BD, Shot, you know, all, all the key uh, players within the industry. Right. Now, in terms of uh, the content historically, what areas does it cover and what sort of... Um things do you have at the event for the visitors mm -hmm. to engage yeah. with? Mm -hmm. So we have very strong content program. Uh, we are focusing on uh, three types of content. One is conference, uh, focusing on knowledge uh, sharing, of course, and innovation, sustainability is a key focus area for us. Sure. And then uh, we also have workshops. It's more like a presentation style, showing the product, um, talking about it. And then on the show floor, we have learning labs. And those are presented by our exhibitors, showcasing uh, their innovations and solutions within the industry. Brilliant. Now, um, for 2024, um, apart from those things which you always have historically, uh, what can people expect to see mm -hmm. new and different in 2024? Mm -hmm. Um, we are proud of how, of course, our uh, startup hub has grown um, and we have also a new uh, feature coming up for 2024. We will have a startup uh, pitch uh, session theater right. that's going to be uh, located at the Innovation Gallery. So this is something new, uh, exciting, uh, where startups which will talk about their newest innovations. Uh, following the innovation tours as well from the startup side. Um, so we are very excited about that. Um, something new, uh, fun. Um, we will host a networking uh, session, a happy hour on the first day. So everyone is welcome um, just to relax and uh, celebrate the success of PharmaPak. We, as every year, uh, we have awards where we celebrate uh, outstanding contribution within the industry. Something new as well, we all know that um, France 2024 is the year of Olympics. Um, and we couldn't miss this opportunity to link the world of sports with world of pharma. So we have also some very exciting content that aligns very well with that. So. Don't miss that. Um, so there is so much new uh, for PharmaPak 2024. 
something that we are also um, focusing on is diversity within the industry. So for the second day, uh, we will host um, a breakfast uh, networking session addressing the industry diversity challenges. Right, fantastic. Now, um, obviously, I mean, you, you touched on it, but you've had the Innovation Gallery for quite a long time at Pharma Park, and you also do the Innovation Awards as well. So how have they expanded and grown over the last few years? Mm -hmm. We can see um, significant growth and interest from the industry to showcase actually what is happening uh, within their company and how they make their products more innovative. So when you will come on site, you will see how the area has expanded, um, how many new products are there. And of course, uh, those products are also highlighted on our mobile app. So that links it very well. If you want to know more about the product or company, uh, you can just um, scan the QR code and learn more about uh, the products. Uh, following um, the innovation gallery, we will also do the same innovation tours um, where companies will be able to talk more about their product. Um, so yeah, we are uh, very excited to have this uh, feature on the show floor. Brilliant. Well, look, I know Farm Lab is always a great show. It's one of my favorite shows of the year. And um, I know it's always very, very busy. Um, in terms of numbers, because I know last year was, I suppose, the first year, or this year, I should say, was the first year that was the proper year since the pandemic. So in terms of numbers, how has the show rebounded, if you like, back to pre-pandemic levels? Mm -hmm. We can see that actually we are back on the pre-pandemic level. So um, we are excited to welcome everyone. And we can see that people are ready for networking, education, uh, learning, um, and we are excited to welcome more than 370 exhibitors to the show floor and more than 5,000 attendees uh, coming from uh, 75 countries. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a great show. And I can't wait to open the show <laughs> doors um, and have everyone um, in the Paris uh, for networking and, of course, the business opportunities. Fantastic. Well, that's brilliant. Now, one final question. Um Obviously, we're talking about the in-person event. You mentioned the app as well, though. So how much of the content uh, uh, and how much networking can people do before the show mm -hmm. and after the show uh, digitally? Yeah. So everyone can already uh, download the app. Um, so this is your pocket guide where you can see all exhibitors uh, you can upload your profile, of course. You can see the content agenda. You see what's happening. Um, learn more about our initiatives as well on sustainability. And of course, you can start already booking your meetings now, making sure that your agenda is prepared for the show in January um, because we know how busy everyone is on site. So it's good, good to make sure that you're well prepared. Um, and of course, we will uh, keep the app or the event planner open after the show. So uh, people still have opportunity to uh, network and make sure that the business is going uh, on. Fantastic. Well, look, Laura, it's lovely to see you. I know you must be very busy because, as you said, the show's mm -hmm. only, God, is it eight weeks away? Not even eight weeks away now, I think. Seven yes. weeks, yes. <laughs> so it's getting closer. So I wish you lots of success in the build-up and look forward to seeing you in person in Paris mm -hmm. in January. So there you go, viewers. If you haven't registered yet, but you work within pharma and drug delivery and packaging, then make sure you check out the link above the video and register for Pharma Pack. You can do it right now. And as Laura says, you can sign up to the app once you've registered and start networking and making your appointments now. So Laura, it's lovely to see you. I look forward to seeing you in Paris. Mm -hmm. And viewers, thank you for watching. And if I don't see you again, have a wonderful festive period, Laura and everybody else. And I'll hopefully see you in the new year. So, Laura, thank you very much. And viewers, thank you for watching. Until next time, stay well and stay safe. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.